Hello, and welcome to Lavish Swag. Today, I will be doing a zipper tutorial, showing you how to install your zipper properly. Um, the first thing you want to do is grab it. I'm going to use these two strips just, just as if it was the back of your skirt. So I'm going to put those, place those two right sides together. And you're going to make sure that everything lines up. If you have to use pins, use your pins. And like I said, you always want to measure down. Down, excuse me. You always want to measure down from the waistline. 10 to 15 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it at 10 and a half. Just to show you how it's done. Now this is my way of doing it. I don't know uh, if this is a proper way, but this is the way I install my zippers. So... Now, what I'm going to do now is take it to the sewing machine, and I'm going to start sewing from here at that first pin all the way down. And I'm going to do it probably about an inch seam allowance because I like to have um, a little extra fabric behind my zipper just in case you have to let it out. It's, you may grow some, you want to let it out some. So I leave at least an inch on each side. Okay? So let's see. Let's see how it's done. Okay. Right at the zipper. I went right at the pin. I'm going to pull my pin out. I'm gonna drop my needle. As I always tell you, make sure you drop your needle. Okay, where's my foot? Okay, and you wanna also make sure that you back stitch when you start it. Back stitch. Stop. Pull your pin. Then you may resume. you get to the end of your hem, you always want to backstitch, backstitch. You snap your thread, okay? So normally what you would do is you would take this over to your um, pressing board and you would press those seams open. You would press those seams open. This is on the inside of the skirt. Press them open. So instead of me going to my pressing board, I'm just going to press it the old school way. Okay. Now my seams are pressed. Now, what I want you to do is to grab... I want you to grab your zipper. I'm just gonna use any type of zipper. This is the zipper I'm gonna be using. This is the right side of the zipper. I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna lay the right side of the zipper onto the right side of the fabric. Like this. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unzip it. I'm gonna unzip it. Then I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna pin this zipper into place. And you always wanna make sure you pin it so that you can make sure that it's in the proper uh, alignment and it doesn't, um, 
go wop sided on you. Okay. Now, one more zipper, one more pin. As again, um, this is our first official YouTube tutorial. So um, feel free to comment um, anything that you may want to see um, created or something that you may need help with as far as your sewing, uh, threading a needle, um, threading your bobbing, anything that relates to sewing. Feel free to inbox us. Okay, now I have that whole side pinned down. I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna place, if you're familiar with the sewing machine, it has a presser foot. And on that presser foot, you have two points. I'm gonna place the um, outer point that's, face, that's on the outside of the machine. I'm gonna place the point of that f part of that foot directly over the teeth of my zipper okay so let's see if i can get a, a a good shot okay place that right directly over the foot and you want to make sure that you move your needle as close as you can to your um your teeth of your zipper not to overlap it not to stitch over it but close enough to where once your garment is completely sewn together that it is a clean look and the good thing about this way that I do it is um, you won't see any outside stitching on the back of your garment and I, I love it. I love that. It's it's much cleaner to me. It's much cleaner. So. Yep, much cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this down so that I can show you exactly what it's going to look like. Always do a back stitch at the end of your sewing. Flip your thread. Now you're gonna side you up for a second. Now you can close your zipper back because you're gonna repeat that same technique that I showed you on the opposite side of the fabric and you're gonna start you're gonna start sewing from the bottom up so you pin it with your pins going downward okay you're gonna pin it going down so now you're going to take it back to your machine. Same technique, even even though that is even though the zipper is now closed, you can still place that foot directly over the teeth. See, I'm not using this is why I say I, I'm doing it the way that I like because I'm not using a uh, zipper foot. There is a um, a sewing foot that that is used specifically for zippers, but. Uh, I'm, I get kind of, I don't want to say lazy, and I don't want to change out my presser foot. So um, I just use my regular uh, foot, and I just place the, the needle, uh, place the, the point of the, the, the foot in the needle as close as I can to my zipper teeth 
so that I still get that same clean look as if I was using a presser foot. So let's check it out. Please take your time because starting over, I don't like to. Because then you have to go as you have to go in, you have to uh, pull out your thread puller and try to pull the thread out of the teeth, and and that can get frustrating sometimes. Uh, and when I say just take your time, only pros like to go fast. And I'm not a pro. Okay. So at a certain point, you're going to have to stop. Before you get to the top of the zipper. Okay. You can put your needle down. Lift up your presser foot. And slide your zipper past. You may have to let your, your foot up, your, your zipper up. Let's see. There we go. Now, you can place it back into position. Place it back into position. And continue sewing. Now, back, back stitch. There you go. Put it up and out. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Clean. Clean zipper. Your zipper is inserted and it's very clean. So, like I said, you want to make sure This is the inside, and this is the finished product of what your zipper should look like. As you can see, there is no outside stitching, and I'm glad I figured this way out because uh, my outside stitching, uh, I will be honest, it was not the best. So, this I found this to be much better for me, and you can also bring your zipper in some it all depends on if you want your zipper to be shown or if you want it to be hid you can always sew your zipper in further inside of that so now you don't see it it all depends on how far in you sew the zipper into that scene okay now that thank you all for watching once again if you like what you saw today, please subscribe and like our page, comment, share it with your friends, and we will be back to hit you with more. Thank you.